Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. This is a lifestyle channel. So I do beauty videos, fashion videos, hauls, DIYs, home decor, home organization, all kinds of things. So I do hope that you will click subscribe and stick around for a while. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, feel free to watch the videos that interest you and skip the ones that don't. And today I'm participating in the Look for Less collab and that's hosted by the Latina Next Door and Kristen K. I will link both of their channels down below. Now the point of this collab is to uh, take a piece of home decor that you found in a store or online, a designer look and see if you can create it for less. And this is the designer look that I was going for. It was this shiplap wall in this gorgeous office. And as you can see, I have a faux shiplap wall behind me. So let me tell you how my husband and I did that. We went to Lowe's and we picked up a case of this Stain Master luxury vinyl. This is actually a peel and stick flooring that we bought. And it was only, I think, a around $1.30 per square foot, whereas a real shiplap wall will cost you $2.50 at least and can cost up to $7 per square foot. So this is much less expensive. And after my husband stuck the flooring on the wall, we also used these wire nails. These are some teeny tiny little nails. And I don't know if you can see the teeny tiny little dots. <laughs> we nailed each corner of the faux shiplap onto the wall. Now I do have to say part of the reason why we went with this method is because the wall underneath of this flooring is actually wood paneling. Old school wood paneling. If I can find a picture from one of my older videos I will go ahead and put it up so you can see. Really thin, thin thin wood paneling and what we needed was something that could go up easily that we wouldn't have to take the entire wall down and rebuild it because it was really just the wood paneling between this and like the stairs that were on the other side. And we also needed something very, very thin because on this side of the door, let me turn it. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing that, but let me turn it. We have this trim that goes around the little closet part and there's very, very little space between the trim and where the wood paneling wall was. So we needed something thin. We needed something that could go over wood paneling. We had thought about using a wallpaper that looked like faux shiplap, but unfortunately wallpaper does not work very well on wood paneling because you get the ridges. So that's why we ended up going for this and I think it turned out looking great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know you enjoyed DIYs. I look forward to seeing everybody else's video and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.